But let's take that question in hand. Maybe you've developed your business and you've now integrated it with Google My Business Online. And then suddenly you get this uh, a notification or an email come through that says that your account has been suspended. So what do you do when Google My Business account is suspended? Maybe it says that the quality, there's a quality issue when it comes to your business listing. Well, we're going to look exactly at what you can do and the easy way to deal with the two types of suspensions. One's called a hard suspension and one's called a soft suspension. And we're going to see the easy answer to getting both of those fixed for you as quickly as we can. So let's look at how this can be done. So as you mentioned, it's uh, nothing to panic about if you do find that your account has a suspension or if there's a, a quality issue that's been raised by Google, that's uh, quite common. And uh, there are some uh, quite straightforward ways of fixing this. So how do we go about this? Well, you may have discovered, first of all, that uh, your account suspended when you logged in. So obviously you need to log in. So you sign in up here at the top right. And when you log in, you may then come across one or more of your areas, your locations with this suspended area here. And uh, it's saying that the status is suspended. And uh, often this is due to some type of issue when it comes to the location or it could be uh, something else that's uh, gone against the, the rules and the guidelines of Google My Business. So at this point, you really, again, just need to kind of work out if you know of anything you've done that you think may have broken those uh, areas, it may be good to just uh, recheck that, maybe to, to change uh, what's being done. But generally, the reason why they're raising uh, these uh, issues is down to the fact that maybe there's a, a redirect that they don't agree with because you can't redirect to URLs. Maybe you've got some tracking device on the URL. It could be down to you don't have a physical location or you're using a PO box, which is, uh, again, not always uh, um, uh, accepted by Google's uh, terms and conditions. Um, it may be you registered a, an account in the past and now you've re-registered it again. So they see that as a duplicate account for that business. So just check that. And it could just be that your information or your NAP, which uh, again, I've got another video about NAP, which is name, address, and phone, uh, that there's an inconsistency to the point where it's concerned them. They've raised it, they've raised a quality issue, and they've suspended your account. Now, it's worth just saying as well that maybe some of these are, are just finicky, but it, again, it's Google trying to keep a high standard when it comes to their uh, ter uh, search terms on their maps and when it comes to business as well. And what happens is when you click into these, you probably come across then this area here, suspended, your listing has been suspended due to quality issues. Now, the answer really to keeping this as a simple solution is just to follow the process. So if you clicked on the learn more, it would take you through to a page. It would give you some guidelines. You probably by now already have a good idea as to what may have happened and why they've suspended you and what the quality issues may well be. And if you don't, well, then it's still a straightforward process because by clicking on here, it takes you then through to this page here, which is a, a support page where Google now will help you to get your business reinstated. And you literally just fill out the form. Um, and by the end of it, you can then apply it for reinstatement. Now it takes a few weeks. So uh, once you've received an email, the quality assurance team there at Google will then make sure that your suspension is lifted. And uh, if they're happy with it, then that's great. You can then go back to continuing. If not, then it may be that they then still feel it should be suspended they may then give you some recommendations for you to implement. And then you just follow through on those on your Google My Business page. And then you then reapply again for reinstatement, wait a few weeks, and then hopefully then you've resolved the issues. And that really is the simple and only way really to get reinstated with Google on Google My Business Local. Now it's worth bearing in mind also, there are two types of suspensions. There's one that's known as a soft suspension and one that's known as a hard suspension. A soft suspension is when you just um, have everything put on hold, really. So you can't edit anything. 
um, but your listing still shows so people can still find your business they can still locate you on Google Maps so that's often what's used when it's just an obvious mistake that needs to be fixed if they feel that you've really deliberately violated the rules then you will get a hard suspension which means that you have lost everything you've lost your photos your information and so it's a lot harder to reinstate a business because they probably feel that it's been more of a deliberate act rather than a mistake 